Jan and I have a dog, Miss Lily. Miss Lily is a red healer poodle cross. <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> we have the proof that it did happen. She is the sweetest, most odd-looking little dog, though, that you've ever seen. Long body, short legs, big feet, poodle hair, and a red hailer mentality. And she looks up at me with those big brown eyes as if to say, I love you. And I'm not ashamed to say I look right back down at her and I go, I love you too, Miss Lily. She will do anything for me. But if I can come in you from the veterinary's office with a pill for Miss Lily, and if she sees it, she becomes disengaged. She's under the china cabinet. The man that can get her to do anything cannot coax her out. But if I come in from the veterinary's office before she sees me and I wrap that pill in a piece of bologna, all I have to do is just hold it out. And Miss Lily comes running. And she gets what that she wants. And I get what that I want. I want you to think of humor as the bologna in life. Wrap things in it. I've spent all my life humorizing. I looked in Webster's the other day and humorize is not a word. So I made it one. Then I felt bad because it didn't have a definition, so I gave it one. The definition of humorize is to find the absurdity in our reaction to certain situations. And tonight we're going to take that and we're going to humorize four areas of our life. Change. Challenge, stress, and our attitude. And that was back when they taught the three R's. Can you remember that, please? Can you help me name those R's? Reading, writing, arithmetic. Did it ever bother any of y'all that only one of those started with the letter R? <laughs> I used to worry about that. That's a true story, Sandy. You can't make something like that up. <laughs> Some of y'all are getting ahead of me there. So we've talked about humorizing change, humorizing a challenge. Now we're going to the third one. And that's humorizing stress. But I need to know who I'm dealing with. Anybody in this room been under stress the last week? <laughs> the last month? The last year, five years? Do we have any lifers in here? Let's just get <laughs> There's one right here. She was waving both hands. <laughs> I'm at home the other day working on my next book, and I wanted to print. And I type and I, they hit the print button and, and this icon came up on my screen. You've seen it, it says, cannot find printer. Have you seen that? Yeah. So I typed in, it's a little gray box to your left. <laughs> <laughs> it popped up again, cannot find printer. You, I took the monitor and I turned it and I said, there, there it is. <laughs> I don't know what else to do, I can see it. By the time I'm halfway up the line, I'm petrified. I realize I am in over my head. I don't know how to order. And I don't want to appear more ignorant than I already am. And she brought me my coffee and I gave her my $9 and left. You know, buy one of you to read it to you. <laughs> and the humor attitude helps to remind us that we need to wrap things in humor, the baloney in life. And we may find out that just like Miss Lily, people will come running. And they will get what that they want, and we will get what that we want. I want to leave you with what I tell my wife every time that she goes to beauty shop. Good luck. <laughs>